Hello, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing good. So I got a new experience today that was pretty cool. Um, today we had to go at work set up a dairy cow lab and it was one of my, I guess technically my second experience around cows. Um, my first being around two bulls. And that was when I was shadowing a vet, so it was a lot different. Um, my actual, my first experience is always, it gives me a laugh when I think about it because it's kind of a funny story for me. Um, but it was when I was shadowing a livestock vet who my intention was um, to shadow a swine vet. Um, and then I had gone and I was, you know, hanging out with him for most of the day and then he had a meeting. So he stuck me with Brad, the vet, for the cows at, at the vet I was hanging out at. And we went on a run to a farm like way out wherever. This was in North Carolina. And he told me along the way we were going to be doing semen collection. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so, um, so we go up to this farm and it's just this like super salty farmer. Well, you wouldn't call him salty. That's like Navy talk. Um, but just, you know, like a farmer, and he had these giant bulls, and it was super interesting. Um, they were just basically testing the, the bull's semen to make sure that his semen was viable, that he would be good for breeding, um, and yeah, so, um, one of the things they had to do, they had to measure the testicles, because I guess, um, they have to be a certain size, um, and I think, I... I don't remember, but I think they were like 19 inches, which like my bicep is 12 inches, so like huge. <laughs> and so you got the, so you, I don't know. And I mean, I, I'm not an immature person, but your first time doing anything, it's always gonna be like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so anyway, so good old Brad, he's measuring the balls and. um he hands me this cup. It's like this big. He's like, all right, you're going to collect it. And I was like, what? I just want to watch. <laughs> and so I go over. I was like, all right, well, what do I do? He was like, well, you put it on the tip. And when he starts going, you just hang on. And I'm like, what do you mean? But <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> so anyway, so he gets the big giant probe thing in there and it's, it's, I mean, I know, like, it's a good reason to do it, but it's one of those things, the first time you see it, you're like, ha, ah, that, huh, you know, so he's in there, and he's, uh, and the cow's in his boner, and I got the cup on there, and Brad's like, not yet, I'm like, oh, okay, sorry, didn't mean to, so, so, <laughs> so, you know, and I guess he knows, and they can tell when the cow's about to ejaculate, so he's like, all right, now, so I'm like, all right, so I get the cup on there, and, you know, his, his penis is here. And right before, like, he starts ejaculating, it starts going like this. And it knocks the cup out of my hand. I'm like, ah! And I'm, like, trying to catch this cup before he starts jizzing everywhere. And I'm like, ah! So I slam it on there. I catch it. I got really good reflexes. And I'm like, I got it! And it was, like, to me, really, like, dramatic. But... It was cool. It was a cool experience. Um, got to look at it under the microscope. He showed me some really cool things. Um, so yeah, so that was my first experience with male cows. Not, they're called bulls. A cow, I guess, is a female cow that's already had a calf. So, anyways, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I don't like it. He has a, my pig has this face when he's about to pee. He's still pie train where he's like, and he has this like stance. He was just in it. But I think he's just being a weirdo. So anyway, so we were setting up the lab today. Um, and all we had to do was get, I think it was like 39 heifers into their head shoots. Because the vet students were coming to do something. I don't know if it was a palpation lab or just an anatomical like learning lab. But, um, so it was just a new experience for me. Cows are so different than horses. Um, cows, they spook super easily. They're terrified of you. Um, they're very curious though. So they'll like walk up and be like, what are you? But then you like go and then they, ah, and they run away. So it was just, it was really cool being able to actually experience it. And it, 
I don't know if I want to work with cows. I, I like large animal, and I guess I wouldn't be against it. I don't know a lot about them, but I don't really, like, get excited, you know, about them, which I think is a huge reason why it's, it's good to experience different animals. Like, honestly, like, straight up, before I started working with horses, I was like, I don't have any interest in equine. None. Horses. Who cares? Like... But now I love them, you know, so it's, I think it's super important because you'll never know what you like until you get your hands on it. Um, so I'm not going to like just totally write off livestock because I don't really, I mean, I'm not going to know anything. My mind, I'm so bad about being wishy-washy with my life and my decisions. Um, so until the day I walk across stage at graduation, I'm probably not going to know what I want to work with. About 99% sure I don't want to do small animal um, dogs and cats. Just, I just don't. Like, I like with all the shadowing I've done, I'm like, I just don't want to. But I've also been told horse people can be a little weird. <laughs> so, hey, don't touch that mirror. So if, you know, if I do want to get involved in horses, I guess I'm going to have to deal with, like, some weirdos. But... I don't know. In the end, it's just I I want to love you know what I'm working with, and it, it I can deal with anybody. I was in the military, like I can deal with anyone as long as I have somebody to complain to at the end of the day. <laughs> so um, so yeah. So I I definitely recommend if you have the capability, go get your hands dirty with some large animals. It's fun. They're scary. <laughs> Horses are intimidating when when I first got around them. Like, one would just walk up to me and be like, Is he going to kick me? And they're like, No, sh you're in a truck. <laughs> you know, like, so, um, but it's cool, you know, and pigs. I love pigs. Pigs are one of my favorite animals. Um, the only thing with pigs, though, is that I don't know if I wanna, would want to work for a pig, like, as a pig farm vet however you would word that if I was to work with pigs I would want to work at a like a farm sanctuary um, a big thing that I want to do is volunteer work I want to work with a lot of the farm sanctuaries um, you know pet pigs stuff like that um, I don't know I just think it's neat and they need a lot of help and I think that you know I eat meat but I think that what they do is very respectable um, I did do the vegan thing for about six months um, and really the only reason why I really turned around from it was because I went and I experienced things for myself and, and made my own opinion versus what other people say. Especially people who have no clue what they're talking about. So yeah. So anyways, um, if you do live in a, in a city though, go drive somewhere. I mean like, I, it sucks. But it's a cool experience when you do something completely out of your realm, completely out of your comfort zone. Um, you know, I, I'm starting to do my zoo handling stuff, so, um, the other day I got to hold, like, a seven-foot boa, no, uh, Burmese python, and I was like, this is so cool, you know, like, I, reptiles and all, I don't know if I, if I would want to work with reptiles, I just think it's cool to, like, hold them, <laughs> so, but honestly, I'd work on anything. I saw a turtle surgery once on, I mean, on YouTube, but... Anyway, so cows are cool. Go get your hands dirty. So I hope you guys have a good rest of the day.